all right what's good what's happening everybody it's your boy primitive ak here we're back with another video for you guys today we have the tracer pack phase in uh this is actually a pretty cool looking one I, I was actually really excited for this one to drop we got an animated blueprint with an aftermarket part on the mcw so the class setup on this thing is kind of a bit questionable in my honest opinion i would never use the raven kit if i'm being totally honest here but overall the skin itself does look pretty nice uh, and the attachments that you get aren't half bad. I mean, it could be a lot better, but it's not the worst thing I ever seen. Uh, but if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys showing the love and support. Let's go ahead and showcase what we got to show here. So for the MCW, like I mentioned, not bad with the attachments. It has the 40 round mag with the aftermarket part, which I probably would never use. Um, it has a decent sight, but I'd probably swap that out for another sight. And uh, we also have the MCW 6.8. So we got both MCWs here. Uh, and the attachments on this thing aren't actually that bad. Honestly, it's really not as bad as I expected. Um, although, like I said, I would probably still change a couple things like the sight here. Just something I would never use. And then maybe the under barrel vertical grip. I may swap that out for something else. Uh, but we also have a brand new calling card to go with the bundle. We got a large decal. Uh, and we got a weapon charm as well as an emblem and a battle pass token as well. Unfortunately, I am kind of already maxed out on the battle pass, or at least I think I'm maybe one tier away, so this might actually be useful. Uh, but here are the tracer effects for those that are curious on how this thing actually looks. And of course, we'll hop in an actual pub match as well so you guys can see it. Uh, but let me see that again. That, that didn't look like it was much going on there. Yeah, it kind of has the digital effect on it. Um, we'll probably have to see this in action when we actually get into a pub match. Let's see what the MCW looks like. Yeah, it's going to be a similar case, but uh, let's go ahead and purchase this bundle. We're going to hop in a, in a firing range, just kind of show what this thing can do. We'll showcase the camos as well, and let's get right to it. All right, showcasing the camos first on these bad boys. We got the MCW on deck first. Here is the Gilded Camo. Here is our Forge Camo. Here is the Priceless Camo. And last but not least, Interstellar. So I like the fact that the digital effect is still on the weapon. That's a really big bonus there. Uh, and here are Zombies Camels for those that are curious. We got Golden Enigma, Zircon Scale. We got Serpentine. And also Borealis. Uh, so yeah, pretty much the Camels are going to look exactly as you expect. Just with the digital effect now added onto it. Uh, and we'll showcase some of the event animated Camels. Just to kind of see how those look as well. Here we go. We got the raid camo. There's the full shields camo for the dune event. Ghoulie camo. Golden River. We got magma, which actually looks probably one of the better ones in my opinion. I think that's probably the best one. And we got the Makarov camo. And sand and spice. And the boys camo. Overall, not bad as well. We'll take a look at the MCW. For those that are curious on the camels on this thing, here's our gilded camo. Here is the Forge Camel. We got Priceless, Interstellar, and for the Zombies Camels, we got Golden Enigma, Zircon Scale, Serpentine, and Borealis. Not bad. We'll take a look at the event animated camos. We got Blood Cell. Uh, let's take a look at the Eddie Supreme Camo, which is a very slow animation. Ether Wave. Full Shields, Wooly, Golden River, Magma, which still looks the best in my opinion, Makarov, Sand and Spice, and the Boys Camo. So, pretty nice looking camels. I think the MCW has a much better look to it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and try just to see what the Tracers look like. I want to go to a firing range, firing range real quick. Showcase these bad boys. Oof, this looks like a nice looking camo. So as you can see, it does have, like, the digital tracer effect, which looks very presentable, actually. That's pretty nice. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually take off the mag attachment just to make sure... We're going to remove all the attachments. Actually, hang on. Accidentally removed that. We're going to remove all the attachments. Then we're going to go to a firing range just to make sure that the tracers still work. They definitely should. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, they don't work. They actually do not work. That's very interesting. I wonder if that's tied to the aftermarket part. Hold up. I wonder if that's tied to the aftermarket part. Let me try this. Let me, let's put the aftermarket part back on. I just need to confirm this so you guys know exactly what you're getting before you buy it. 
Yup, it's tied to the aftermarket part. That's unfortunate. So for those that want to keep the tracers on this thing, you have to use the aftermarket part. Otherwise, it just simply will not work. Um, that's kind of a bummer. I don't like that the aftermarket part is tied to tracers. That's a no-go in my opinion. Man, that's unfortunate. And like, no one's really going to use the aftermarket part on this thing. At least I'm not going to use it. So that's kind of a disappointment. I would stick with the anime bundle if, for those that are curious which one you should buy. Literally just because of that. That's just a massive L. Like, come on, Sledgehammer. They still have not learned their lesson. Anyways, let's check out the next Tracer weapon. It's going to be the MCW 6.8. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, definitely a nice looking weapon. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to remove the mag. We're going to remove all the attachments. It's sh this Now, this should work. I don't see a reason why this wouldn't work. Yeah, the tracers still work. But there's no aftermarket part or there's no different uh, ammo mods or anything like that. So, I guess that's a plus side to this one. But, um, man, the MCW is a disappointment. I just, I really don't like that feature. Um, and we'll put the mag size back on just to make sure. We'll just test this last little bit out. Oh, wrong glass. Yep, tracers still work. So yeah, as long as you don't change the ammo mod or the aftermarket kit, then the tracers will still work on this thing. But um, that's about it for the tracers. Let's go ahead and hop in a pub match. We'll showcase these bad boys in action. Let's get right to call this chopper in. Hey, yo, teammate, y'all want to, like, shoot something? Or are y'all just going to play brain dead all game? What are you doing, bro? On him. Holy teammate, you are struggling. Brother. This game is something else, man. Not killing me today. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Oh, I don't like this. We're gonna need some ammo, boys. The heck? Where, like, where? Where Where did he come from? Nearly dying to spawns, bro. Unfortunately, the B-side is gone, which kind of sucks. these spawns at all, bruh. What a great spawn system. Oh, 
I'm not dying. I'm not, I'm not dying off a nuke again, bro. I'm not allowing it. I will say though, I do like the tracers. The tracers are very, very cool. Ooh, that's a nice quad. Oh, there goes the nades popping off. We're calling in the nuke there, buddy. I'm gonna end the game right there. I think that's enough for me. But like I said, fellas, let me know what you guys think about the tracer. Let me know what you think about the weapon as well. Get off of me, bro. I kind of wish the Tracer was a little bit more vibrant, but I mean, I can't complain. It's still a nice looking Tracer. Thank you guys for all the love and support. It's your boy Primitive AK. Signing out. Peace out, fellas.